there, fellow Stovians. Didn't see you there. It's I, Stove 180 here. Looks like dirt. Feels like dirt. But it smells like coffee. <laughs> That's because there's actually coffee grounds. Today, I'm gonna to be filming a video where I'm gonna to test to see if you can grow seeds in 100% coffee grounds. Mix coffee grounds to your dirt as very good compost and it makes your plants grow very healthy. Oh! I haven't even like got around to uh, putting the coffee grounds in a pot and planting seeds in them and it's already molding. It's only been like four or five days, maybe maybe a little bit more than that. I'm not exactly sure, but there's growing like mold and mildew on the coffee grounds. Ooh, I don't know if I can plant the seed in there, but I might even try still. Alright, I got the regular pot of dirt here. Okay, this is going to be my control because I know for sure that uh, red beans should be able to grow in dirt, but I'm not sure if it'll be able to grow in coffee. So if it grows in the dirt but not the coffee, then we know it's not the beans. And I want to put three beans in here. That way, if, it's, if the bean is no good, then we'll have three other beans to tell us. And three. You write on all these for decaf, caffeinated, and for the dirt. I wrote dirt on here, but I probably should have wrote control because it's probably obvious that it's dirt, but that's what we're going with. Earlier, all the coffees are growing mold or and, and uh, fungus on there. So it might not be able to handle it just because of the fungus part. So I probably should just have fresh coffee. But I'm just going to mix this all up. And hopefully that it's still able to grow. So we'll see. If it doesn't grow any seeds, then I will uh, try it again with fresh coffee. Alright, so let's put the dirt, the decaf coffee grounds in here. Coffee grounds are in here. And then I'm going to add three seeds to there. One, two, and three. I can see it very well on the camera, but this is also going to fungus slash mold on the caffeinated coffee grounds. But anyway, I'm going to place it into my clay pot, like so. Now I have three red beans. Three of them. To make sure that if one doesn't grow, maybe the other two, or at least one might grow. Ooh, it smells real good. It smells like a fresh cup of coffee. So now that they all three have the same sunny location, they're gonna, their constant is going to be how much sun they get and how much water they get. So they're all going to get one full cup every day of this, of water. And all have been watered. We will come back in two or three days and see if there's any growth in any of the seeds. In several days later. It's been five days since I planted the red beans in pots. And they've all the pots have been getting the same amount of sunlight and the same amount of water. But definitely red bean and the soil has definitely been growing. So I don't know. And the coffee grounds are not really growing. But we'll see. Maybe it'll take longer. I don't know. 24 hours later. Like you would expect. The red beans in the dirt is sprouting um, as after the sixth day. It's doing pretty well. But how is the ones in the coffee grounds doing? Let's find out. You know, caffeinated coffee grounds, not really seeing anything. No, don't see the seeds or nothing. It doesn't seem like it's sprouting or anything like that. I mean, calf coffee grounds. You can see the seed and it looks like it might be separating from the, the outside of the shell and it might be sprouting. I'm not sure, but it's not sprouting as well as it was in the dirt pot, but we'll I'll give it a few more days and see how it goes. Maybe it'll start sprouting. The next day. Wow, this is this is the decaf uh, coffee grounds, and they actually are growing. You could see a little bit starting to grow out of there. It's 
<laughs> Slowly growing, but not too much. All right, let's go to the caffeine, the decaf. No, that is decaf. Let's go to the caffeine one. And I don't think anything's going out of the caffeine. Yeah, caffeine's just really taking it. It's not allowing it to grow anything at all. But that's slowly, slowly, slowly growing and the decaf coffee grounds. But it's doing real good and regular dirt. Real, real good and regular dirt. That's crazy. But it might grow in the, in the, the coffee grounds. It's growing, but not too good in the decaf coffee grounds. 48 hours later. So day nine of the coffee ground growing seed experiment. Well, okay, nighttime. I wasn't gonna record uh, day nine because I didn't think really anything happened, but I have to show you what happened. You have coffee ground, it really, 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 those seeds want to grow very, very badly. But because there's not very much caffeine in there, it's able to grow somewhat, but it's, I think it's the caffeine that's stopping it from growing so much. And I say that it's the caffeine stopping it from growing so much because in the, co in the caffeine coffee grounds, it's not growing at all. So I'm pretty sure there's way too much coffee, ca caffeine in there, and it's stopping it from growing at all. The seeds in the dirt is definitely growing very well. Like, duh, seeds grow well in dirt, we all know that. The experiment is not to see if, if the dirt, if the seeds grow well in dirt. The experiment is to see if they grow well in coffee grounds. And they do somewhat well if you get very, very little caffeine in the coffee grounds. 24 hours later. Caffeine pot and sadly, no seeds have grown whatsoever. But in the decaf pot, seeds are growing. One of them, only one's growing in this pot. Sadly, I think it's because of the caffeine in there, but there's a lot less caffeine, so that's allowing it to uh, grow because it's not so much caffeine. Uh, only one though. This one, all three seeds that I planted have sprouted and is growing very well in the dirt. You can imagine, very well in the dirt. Several days later. I am going to plant all the red beans in my gardens and my gardens are just kiddie pools with dirt. Now, this is the only red bean that grew in the decaf. Nothing grew in the caffeinated uh, coffee grounds. I'm gonna plant it in here. Got the decaf coffee ground red bean growing and this is the one in the dirt. All three, because I planted three beans in each pot and only one grew in there and none grew in the caffeinated coffee, but three grew in the dirt like expected and they're doing real good. Let me plant those. Ding, look how much uh, roots grew in the one with the dirt. Uh, of course, that was the control so you knew it was gonna grow good anyway. Let me plant all three of these in the ground. Comes to an end. What I basically figured out is that Caffeinated coffee grounds will not grow anything in it at all. But if you plant be seeds, two, three, maybe four seeds in decaf coffee grounds, one of them might grow, but it'll take a long time and not very good. And like you know all already, which was why it was the control, was dirt. Dirt grows seeds very well. That's why people use dirt and soil to grow seeds in. So, yes. You can grow seeds in coffee grounds, but only decaf coffee grounds and not very well. I really enjoy doing this experiment. I love plants. My degree is on horticulture, so I'm a plant person. If you have any other suggestions of any other experiments I could do with plants, let me know. And yes, I will be getting back to doing more comedy. I promise my comedy videos have not gone away. They will come back but I like to do some more experiments every now and then. I plan on doing more science experiments in the future so if you have any science experiments for me to do or any like plant-based science experiments leave them in the comments down below and I might try them. Don't forget to ring that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss them. Please. I need Subscriptions, I live off of them. I eat them. Subscribe and give me likes. I'm hungry.